welcome back to the family channel. Hello. Hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we're going to be reacting to why no nation wants to fight the B2 bomber. Yeah, I've been talking about this plane loads and I've, we've done a couple military reactions recently and it's popped up and I've been waiting to show Captain Garen this plane because I think it's freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah, I think it would be interesting. I'm kind of kind of like getting into this military I did say stuff. that on my videos. I was like, I'm so I'm so happy because Kat's now getting into these. So it's another thing that we can share and yeah, interest Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love them. Uh, other than the, the A-10 Warthog, this is probably my yeah. favorite. And, and, and the Air uh, 22 uh, Raptor F-22. Is this the one that looks like a spaceship? Yeah, it, this plane is amazing. Uh, I think it's awesome. I think this, I like the Raptor. Raptor's my first favorite one, but this one's second. Yeah. 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 What about, oh, you don't know about the A10 yet? No. The A10's awesome as well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, before we get into today's video, if you wouldn't mind hitting that, watch Subscribe today. button, please. <laughs> that would be very, very awesome of you. You'll probably notice that Leia hasn't joined us for quite a while. I just wanted to touch on that because I did see a few people asking where she is. Leia is a teenager and she is out with her friends. So like I've said from the beginning, this is not something we're pushing the kids into. If they want to film, they want to film. Whereas Garen, Garen reminds us every day, can we go film? Can we go film? So yeah, Garen's here yeah. every day. I'm sure when he's 13, it might be a different story. But nah. Leia's out with her mates. So yeah, yeah she's she'll... enjoying holidays, isn't it? So... Well, yeah, that's it. So yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Looks Wait, like it drops you... us. Like you when you go Why no nation wants to fight the B-2 bomber. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should you venture out to one of the air shows periodically held near Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri? I want to come and see one of the air shows when we come to America. I want to go and see some of these planes. I think there's a few museums and stuff that you can go to as well. Because oh, really? I'd love to show I'd love Yeah, I'd love to go and have a look at these because I'm fascinated by them. I want to see them and you know, like I am with the old stuff. I just want to, if you can, touch them so I can just... <laughs> I'm a bit weird like that. You may be so fortunate to spot one of the world's most otherworldly aircraft. The Manta-like B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. The Spirit swept wings measure 52 meters across, half the length of a football meters. field, and its cockpit bulges oh, organically from the surface like that of a 1950... Hold on. 52 That's meters. Cat. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's huge. Is that wide? Yeah, that's the from tip of the wing it's to tip of the wing. It's funny how on the that is huge, massive. On the photo, it looks like just a little ball. Yeah, Garen was like, oh, oh it's that's small. That's like a nearly the. S it's like about our garden. Yeah, garden? yeah, yeah. It's about the length of our garden, I'd say. What? <laughs> just the wing. Yeah, it's massive. It doesn't look that big. Uh, it doesn't. It's huge. Hit play, boy. Oh my. <laughs> this era sci-fi spaceship contrasting dramatically with the jagged near 45 degree angles of its trailing edges. It looks so cool though. Why does the B2 look so weird? And how does, does that help it evade radar? The Spirit was designed late in the Cold War to slip through the Soviet Union's formidable integrated air defense network, combining ground-based radars, surface-to-air missiles, and aerial interceptors and radar planes. Radars were a linchpin of any modern air defense system, so the Pentagon sought a stealth plane with such a minimal radar cross-section that it could only be detected at very short ranges. The Air Force's first stealth aircraft, hmm. the F-117 Nighthawk, was a promising Whoa. start, cool, eh? but it could only carry two bombs over 900 miles unrefueled, not far enough to deliver a strategic strike deep inside okay, enemy territory. Triangle. In the 1930s and 1940s, <laughs> Aviation engineers had experimented with flying wing designs. 1930s and 1940s. Just think about that. Because in World War One, they were hardly... That was the first time planes were like proper, properly used for warfare. Yeah. And that ended in 1918, didn't it? 18 or not? Oh, yeah, 1918. Yeah. So it's insane how fast we've progressed yeah, with yeah. things. Like already at that time, that they kind of like <laughs> came up with this shape. It's like, mental. That's a... Nazi Germany's Horton Ho 229 and the US XB 35 and YB 49. Like a boomerang. Flying mm -hmm. wings generate additional lift yeah. and coincidentally are conducive to low radar cross sections because their flat surfaces minimize opportunities for radar waves to bounce off them. <laughs> However, pure flying wings lack tail control surfaces, often leading to fatal aerodynamic instability. The B-2's design came at a turning point when fly-by-wire controls were entering widespread use. I love it. 
These mediate a pilot's commands through an electronic interface rather than directly via hydraulics, allowing a computer to compensate for unstable flight characteristics. The Spirit's quadruple redundant system, for example, manipulates flaps on the wings and engine thrust differentially to perform turns that most aircraft would rely on tail rudders and elevators to perform. Jet engines are a common It looks like it's almost stuff. able to go and then go under the water as well. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, doesn't it? like it could be a submarine as well. Designs as they feature radar conspicuous fan blades and generate hot engine exhaust that lights up infrared sensors. To avoid this vulnerability, the Spirit's intakes are mounted on the top of the wings and funneled air through S-shaped ducts to four F-118 turbofans buried deep inside the plane. That's crazy. This configuration dampens both the B-2's acoustic and infrared signature. The Spirit furthermore employs secondary inlets that scoop up cold barrier air surrounding the bomber and mix it with the hot exhaust, which is then expelled over a Back. flattened titanium carbon fiber surface to further diffuse the heat <laughs> okay. signature. Another key aspect of the B-2's low observability are radar-absorbent materials. The B-2's skin is already primarily made up mostly of non-conductive carbon graphite composite mixed with titanium. The most reflective areas, such as the That's intakes, big. flaps, and leading edges of the wings, are sprayed with additional radar-absorbent material coatings, which have been repeatedly tweaked over the years. Furthermore, the skin is coated with an elastomer, an elastic rubber-like polymer meant to smooth away seams, screws, or joints between different materials, which might create a chink in its stealthy geometry. Altogether, these features reduce a B-2's radar cross-section to roughly 0.1 to 0.05 meters squared. 0.05 meters squared is all they'll be able to see on the radar. That is mental, because when you consider that it's... I I, it's going in th through my head like how is that possible whenever i watch these videos you got to do like calculations and stuff it's because it's got like special electronics so and sprays and all sorts of stuff how big is that like this no it's how big you do good one with that bumblebee oh that's what they yeah. said from in the, the front, other video the yeah. b2 is designed to remain low observable from all angles as it's intended to penetrate deep into enemy airspace Spirits are camouflaged for daytime as well as night strikes with non-reflective dark gray paint designed to blend in with the sky at distances of 23 miles or greater. Holy crap. The B-2 also sports special bays designed to release chemicals to obscure contrails. But those were never used Sorry, operationally. Uh, you know those, Instead, the those trails that the airplanes have? You know those? Yes. Yeah, it's got special chemicals to stop it from doing that as well. And what he was saying earlier, the intakes there on the wings or on the side mm -hmm. there, it pulls, do you know, the pulls the air in, but then usually there's hot air coming yeah. out. It goes through like a special thing that's shaped as an S as well as another thing that pulls in cold air to cool the air. So it makes it more invisible. It's oh, insane. That is crazy. All that in a plane. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Spirit has a LIDAR sensor to detect contrails, giving the pilot a chance to change altitude to eliminate them. The Spirit is designed to fly across the globe while carrying 20 to 30 tons of weapons, but not to do exceptionally quickly. Its turbofans lack afterburners, which in any case would cause infrared and even radar signature to bloom. The Spirit's top speed is 630 miles per hour, which means it's a bit faster than a jumbo jet, while its range of five to 7,000 miles is usually multiplied by two to four aerial refuelings Refuel using a pop-up hatch behind the cockpit. Uh this has allowed See? B-2s to fly non-stop missions lasting nearly two days from Whiteman in Missouri to hit targets across the you globe. Must be very skilled. A spirit's That's what I'm saying. These guys you are so bad at it. That you can actually refuel. Get up close up enough to another plane, and then that thing just like drops. I'm sure there's something. I would be shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a photo of how big the plane is? Yeah, it's massive. It, the, mm -hmm. when on photos, it looks like it's just a small it's little It's massive. A crew of two, a mission commander and that's, a pilot, enter the, the whole plane via a hatch in the fruit. belly. Jeez. The bomber has room for one crew member to nap in shifts, as well as a toilet and space to store food a in a toilet. microwave. Though spirits routinely use GPS navigation, house. they can get along just fine if navigation satellites are knocked out by using a star-oriented inertial navigation system backed up by a terrain recognition-based system. Satellite links and Doesn't very high-frequency like, radio allow the crew to receive GPS. mission updates, <laughs> such as the cancellation of a planned target. When a B-2 bomber approaches defended airspace, it enters stealth mode, retracting antennas, 
cutting off certain communication links, and even restricting the use of its flaps. If threatened by long-range radars and missiles over a wide area, it may descend to low altitude to reduce detection range. Its terrain following system, allowing the huge bomber to skim as low as 200 feet above the ground. Jesus, 200 Unlike feet the earlier enough. Nighthawk, the B-2 bomber is equipped with an It can fly 200 feet off the ground, so if that's the ground, it'll, it stays really close to avoid detection. That's <laughs> mental. It's such an awesome plane. Q-181 low probability of what? intercept radar it has been updated it to an even stealthier active electronically scanned array model in 2010. Useful for navigation and scanning ground targets, it can also plot the position of hostile fighters and radars. That data is fed to the bomber's APR-63 defensive measure suite, allowing the mission commander to adjust the pre-programmed flight path to slip in between areas of dense radar coverage and avoid interceptors. Arguably, the latter posed the greatest threat to the B-2. Already low bandwidth radars may detect the presence, but not the precise location of stealth aircraft. Should a hostile fighter close within a few dozen miles, the Spirit would be to vulnerable to visual, mm -hmm. infrared, and even radar detection. Lacking self-defense weapons or high speed, the B-2's odds of survival in that scenario would be pretty low. Yeah, it hasn't got any For guns its nuclear anything. strike mission, still its most important role today, the B-2 can carry up to 16 B-61 or megaton-yielded B-83 nuclear gravity bombs on the rotary launchers inside its two bomb bays. A Spirit's avionics are hardened versus the electromagnetic pulses generated by nuclear blasts, and the pilots are offered creepy Scary. white face masks to oh. shield their eyes from the flash of detonation. Wow. However, the fall of the Soviet Union this prompted the Air Force to hastily adapt the B-2 for conventional weapons delivery, an alternate rack system can accommodate up to 80 Mark 82 500 pound bombs or an equivalent weight in cluster bombs, mines, or larger munitions. In the late 1990s, the B 2 was adapted to carry 2,000 pound JDAM GPS guided weapons, which are accurate within a 20 that. foot radius and have scary. served as its primary yeah. weapon ever since. The B 2 is also certified to carry long range AGM 154 JSAO glide bombs, 80 miles and AGM-158 JASM stealth cruise missiles, 230 to 575 miles, to allow it to deliver standoff attacks without risking getting too like close to increasingly plane. powerful yeah. modern air defense radars. Most exotically, the B-2 is uniquely configured to deploy up to two massive 30,000-pound GBU-57 massive ordnance penetrators designed to oh blast apart command bunkers up to 61 meters underground. Wow. A capability meant yeah, to threaten decapitation of hostile foreign leaders and destruction of subterranean weapons facilities. That's the B-2's ability explosion. to deliver such devastating mm -hmm. weapons deep within the most well-defended airspace make it a premium, they look so highly mm -hmm. specialized so innocent, machine without isn't it? Oh, yeah. look. Oh. <laughs> Just <laughs> Game over. Equivalent. At least unless China develops a decent H-20 stealth bomber. So far, B-2s have mostly leveraged their range and payload rather than stealth for actual combat operations. However, the Spirit's awesome firepower and low observable characteristics will never be tested in the kinds of high intensity and likely nuclear great power conflict it was designed to fight. Look, Good. there's like, wow. Look, they're just standing on there, like nothing. <laughs> yeah, they're fixing it and repair, like maintaining it, doing all the safety checks in that, I'd imagine. Look, that just shows how big it is. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. Insane. I should have counted how many steps he did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he gave you the size. I'm sure he's not lying about how big yeah, they but are. Like I can't. Like you know, when I'm when I'm visualizing it, I still can't see how. It's so big. big. It is. It's what did he say? Fifty something meters. Fifty two. That's Fifty. like half the size of a football field. Width. Wow. Or a rugby. Uh, yeah. No, good. Like, who's, Usain Bolt could run that in four something seconds because he did it in nine, did yeah. 100 meters. Oh, so it's not as big as our garden. How big is our garden? From the back gate, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's huge, though. I mean, I, even if it, it... That's just the width, the length of the wings. So that's mental. I love that plane. I freaking think it's probably... Yeah, I don't blame you. It's awesome. Just imagine, like, what we don't know about. Yeah. That's the scary thing. This is what I'm thinking, like... 
Like, how they can just show it? Because there's know? other... That, 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 it's quite an old plane, isn't it? In comparison to some of the newer it's ones. It's like secret. Yeah, you know? <laughs> well, that, that's what I mean. Imagine what they're not letting you see. Would you like to go on that? Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> just fly from here to somewhere else. It'll yeah. go quick. Mm -hmm, it'll take from here to America. I don't know. There was a video. I can't remember on which one I did it. There was a plane and it said something from New York or something to London would take two hours. Wow. Because of how quick it was. It was thing. the fastest plane in the world. I, I think the SR7 or something it was. Whoa. Something like that. But yeah, it was super fast. But they don't make them anymore. So that's unfortunate. They should make them just to take me places because I hate long haul flight. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Garen is still looking tired yeah. because he is not listening and staying up when he's not meant to. I want to. to sleep, but I need to clean my room now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you got, you, you're too busy playing PlayStation. And then you got hockey practice. And then you, he's got two hockey games this weekend as well. So it's another really busy weekend, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You guys may think it's like nothing for you guys. I'm going two and a half <laughs> hours away. <laughs> for Garen, that may as well be a week's drive because <laughs> yeah, he hates going in the car. Drive for him. He still thinks he gets car sick. Even though you don't get car sick when me and mommy are driving, he's just no. paranoid when he goes yeah. on like the bus. He has to have those motion sickness tablets. Yeah. Right, you go chill. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and we will see you in, Garen. Tomorrow. In the next video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>